There are two very different kinds of smart glasses right now. On one side, you have XR glasses like XRIO or the Rainio Air series, which are basically wearable displays for movies, games or productivity. And on the other side, you have some like this. These are the Rainio X3 Pro. They are similar to the Meta Ray-Ban display, so instead of trying to replace your screen, they are trying to augment real life with live translation, heads-up navigation, hands-free AI and point-of-view photos and videos. I've been using them and they are fascinating, flawed, expensive and also a pretty clear glimpse into where AR is actually heading. They have these super cool waveguide displays, tiny microprojectors that bounce light through the transparent lenses in a way that only the wearer can see the interface. And other people will just occasionally catch some glimpse of a little glow. So this technology allows Rainio to keep these glasses looking mostly like a normal pair of glasses. Unlike the Meta Ray-Ban display, the X3 Pro actually have two displays, one for each eye. Rainio calls them full-color displays, but don't be fooled, these are not your OLED level image quality displays. The color palette is limited and the resolution isn't that high, but that is normal for this kind of AR tech. It's fine because these are not designed for entertainment, they're designed for quick glanceable information. Now one problem I did run into uh, is the positioning of the interface because the image sits towards the bottom of your field of view, um, which makes sense for AR, right? Because you want it to be out of the way, basically. But in my case, the bottom end of the interface sometimes falls outside my visible area. And that meant that I occasionally had to wear the glasses very much lower on my nose, something like that, in order to be able to see the full image. Now, other people that tried these didn't have that problem, so chances are that um, they'll fit you, but nothing guarantees it, so you have to try and see for yourself. Now, unfortunately, there is no adjustable tempo angles here, so um, the fit can be a little bit hit or miss, depending on your face shape. As for price, the Rainio X3 Pro are expected to launch globally this month at an early bird price of $1100, which is expensive, especially when XR glasses like the Rainio Air 3S Pro can cost less than a third of that. Now the interface is split into three main areas. The home screen um, shows things like the time and the battery life, and it's also where you can instantly access the AI assistant. Swipe to the left and you'll see your notifications. Swipe to the right and you get a list of all available applications. Right now, that list is pretty small, but you get the essential things like camera, maps, translation, music, um, phone, to-do lists. And there is even a way to sideload third-party applications so you technically even can run things like Chrome browser or the Play Store or YouTube music, for example. But the performance is rather clunky and the display isn't meant for that sort of rich visuals. So, but there's an AI assistant on board which is powered by Gemini Live um, and it's one of the best use cases I've seen so far for AR glasses. You can talk to it or you can let it see what you're seeing through the building camera right here and that makes interacting with the AI feel incredibly natural, asking questions about objects or signs or your surroundings just makes sense. In this form factor, it's easily one of the strongest features of this Rainio X3 Pro. Hey, can you tell me if this camera is good for portrait photos? Hey, what are some uh, things I need to watch out for with this Sony Alpha 6600? You can get some great shots with that camera. Just make sure to keep an eye on the battery life, especially if you're using the electronic viewfinder or continuous shooting. Also, getting a feel for the autofocus settings can make a big difference in getting crisp images. 
live translation is another highlight. The glasses support real-time translation across 14 different languages, either as text, audio, or both. In my testing, which included some Spanish, Russian, and English, it worked quite well. Although the translation took a few moments to come up on the screen, um, you know, it could be better, it will get better with time, but it works. Hey, can you tell me what's the weather right now in Spain? Is it hotter than here? The Rainio X3 Pro are um, fairly compact and light at 76 grams. Um, these thick tempos here are typical for pretty much all smart glasses out there, and I, I don't really mind them. I think they look cool. But the one design element that still looks a bit awkward here is the camera, which is placed in the center of the nose bridge right here. This makes it way more noticeable than side-mounted camera approach used by Meta. And because the camera right here in the center, these Rainio glasses still have a little bit of that techy look, um, which is not ideal. Comfort is good overall and the soft um, nose pad makes possible to do longer sessions, but then battery life quickly becomes a major limiting factor here. Now listen to this, in real world use, the Rainio X3 Pro lasts about 40 minutes on a single charge, 40 minutes, that's it. Um, you know, super short battery life. They do charge very quickly, again in about 40 minutes from zero to 100%. Uh, which is a little bit of a silver lining here, but this 40 minute battery life is probably their biggest limitation. Hey guys, quick announcement. Our new coffee table book, Iconic Phones, is now available for purchase in the US and Canada. Iconic Phones is a tribute to some of the most legendary devices going all the way back to the unique designs of the early 2000s. Inside you'll find original photography, stories, exclusive quotes from some of the biggest tech tubers right now, including Austin Evans, Jerry Rick Everything, uh, Mr. Who's the Boss, and more. So if you love retro tech, Check the link in the description to learn more about the book and order a copy for yourself. And now, back to the video. I think the Rainio X3 Pro feel like a preview of the AR future. I'm starting to see how this form factor could be super useful in everyday life. And if we struggle to think of legit use cases for such gadgets a few years back, now we have AI models that could actually be the killer feature of such AR glasses. Now, of course, at $1,100, these are not for everyone, uh, but for early adopters who wanna experience what everyday AR could become, the X3 Pros are among the few options out there right now. For most people though, cheaper, cheaper XR glasses like the Rainio Air 3S Pro or the X3 One series remain a much better and more practical option. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Fallerina channel if you don't want to miss more videos like this and I'll see you next time.